In the thrilling world of Formula One, Max Verstappen has been a standout name for years. From his rapid climb through the ranks to his big break in F1, Verstappen has truly made his mark on the sport and it keeps getting better. So here's all his career trophies and awards. Verstappen's first taste of trophy glory came back in his karting days. In 2005, he nabbed the VAS Championship title in the Mini Junior category, doing it all over again in 2006. Then in 2007, he rocked the Mini Max scene, taking home both the Dutch Championship and the Rotax Max Challenge Belgium. For the next couple of years, little Max was on fire, dominating every race he entered. In 2008, he snagged the Belgian Championship in the Cadet category, along with wins in the Rotax Max Challenge Belgium and the BNL Karting Series in the Mini Max category, repeating the feat in 2009. That same year, he also clinched the Belgian Championship in the top tier category, KF5. In 2010, Verstappen took on the KF3 World Cup and completely owned it, snatching up wins in the WSK Euro Series, the CIK FIA European Championship, the Bridgestone Cup European Final, the WSK World Series, and the WSK Nations Cup. He was on fire once again. Come 2011, his only win came in the WSK Euro Series, still tearing it up in the KF3 class. Then in 2012, Max rocked the seen by bagging the WSK Series title in KF2, along with a victory in the South Garda Winter Cup, something he pulled off again in 2013. That same year, he was already mixing it up with the big leagues of karting, taking home the WSK Euro Series in the KZ1 class, the WSK Master Series in KZ2, and topping it all off with both the CIK FIA European and World Championships in both KF and KZ categories. All that hustle landed him a spot in single-seaters in 2014, tearing it up in the European Formula 3. He racked up 10 wins and snagged third place in the championship. The cherry on top? Winning the Zandvoort Masters, a seriously big deal. Plus, his incredible overtake on Antonio Giovinazzi in Imola earned him the FIA Action of the Year award. With just one season of single-seater experience under his belt, Red Bull saw his potential and fast-tracked him to Formula 1 with Toro Rosso in 2015. At just 17, he made history as the youngest driver ever to hit the F1 grid. In his rookie year with Toro Rosso, Max proved he was the real deal, showing he was destined for greatness. He impressed everyone with his skills, bagging Rookie of the Year awards from both Autosport and the FIA along with the FIA Personality of the Year. Plus, he clinched the FIA Action of the Year once again for this epic move on Philippe Nasser in Belgium. In 2016, when Max made his debut with Red Bull, he snagged his first ever F1 win at the Spanish Grand Prix. At just 18 years and 228 days old, he became the youngest driver ever to take the checkered flag in the category. That year, he also bagged his first podiums, scoring second place in Austria, Great Britain, Malaysia and Japan, and third place in Germany and Brazil. Talk about a stellar start with Red Bull. And of course, he pulled off another the jaw-dropping move, earning the FIA Action of the Year once again for his incredible wet-weather overtake on Nico Rosberg. Plus, he nabbed the FIA Personality of the Year for the second time. Adding to his trophy case, he also won the Dutch Sportsman of the Year and the Lorenzo Bandini Trophy. That one's special. It's an award not just about race results, but how the success is achieved. It's only given once in a lifetime, paying homage to his standout 2015 season. In 2017, Max had a bit of a slow start with Red Bull as he was still getting into the groove with the team. But hey, that didn't stop him from snatching two wins in Malaysia and Mexico, a solid second place finish in Japan and a great third place spot in China. And guess what? He bagged the FIA Personality of the Year award for the third time in a row, proving he was already one of the most consistent drivers out there. Fast forward to 2018 and Max is back at it. He nailed two more wins, including an epic victory in Austria and another one in Mexico, one of his lucky tracks. Plus, he scored second place in Paul Ricard, Marina Bay, Austin and Interlagos, and grabbed third in Barcelona, Montreal, Spa, Suzuka and Yas Marina. 
that year, he really stepped up as the team leader, leaving Ricardo in his dust and basically showing him the door. In 2019, Max grabbed third place in the championship and got closer to those dominant Mercedeses. He pulled off wins in Austria, Germany and Brazil, scored second in Hungary and Abu Dhabi, and snagged third in Australia, Spain, Singapore and the USA. Oh, and let's not forget that epic move on Charles Leclerc at Silverstone, earning him the FIA Action of the Year award for the third time. Then in 2020, Red Bull was right up even closer with Mercedes and Max held on to his third place spot in a championship. He nailed wins at the 70th anniversary Grand Prix in Abu Dhabi, plus grabbed nine podiums. With second place finishes in Hungary, Great Britain, Russia, Germany and Bahrain, and third places in Styria, Belgium and Portugal, he was on fire all season long. And then came 2021, the year of the epic showdown between Max and Lewis Hamilton. It was like watching two titans go at it, taking turns snatching up wins. Max nailed victories in Emilia-Romagna, Monaco, France, Styria, Austria, Belgium, the Netherlands, the USA, Mexico and Abu Dhabi, with second place finishes in Bahrain, Portugal, Spain, Russia, Turkey, Brazil, Qatar and Saudi Arabia. After that nail-biting battle, Max finally snagged his first world championship title. And hey, he also got crowned Dutch Sportsman of the Year and Autosport International Racing Driver of the Year. 2022 was a walk in the park for the Dutchman. He cruised to victory in 15 out of 22 races, clinching both the drivers' and constructors' titles with Red Bull. Max owned the tracks in Saudi Arabia, Emilia Romagna, Miami, Spain, Azerbaijan, Canada, France, Hungary, Belgium, the Netherlands, Italy, Japan, Austin, Mexico, and Abu Derby. Plus, he snagged second places in Austria and third in Monaco. His incredible year scored him another round of the Autosport International Racing Driver of the Year and Dutch Sportsman of the Year titles, not to mention the prestigious Laureus Sportsman of the Year award. And if 2022 was a walk in the park, 2023 was Verstappen's total takeover. The Dutchman was unstoppable, scoring 19 wins out of 22 races and sealing the deal for his third consecutive world championship. Red Bull was loving it too, grabbing their second straight constructors title. Verstappen owned the tracks in Bahrain, Australia, Miami, Monaco, Spain, Canada, Austria, Great Britain, Hungary, Belgium, the Netherlands, Italy, Japan, Qatar, Austin, Mexico, Brazil, Las Vegas and Abu Dhabi with a couple of runner-up spots in Saudi Arabia and Azerbaijan. And get this, he smashed Sebastian Vettel's record of 9 straight wins by racking up 10 between Miami and Monza. Talk about about domination. All this hustle earned him the Autosport International Racing Driver of the Year award for the third time in a row, along with the Best Driver ESPY award. So, there's the lowdown on all of Max Verstappen's trophies and awards up to this point. And hey, we're saying up to this point because you know Max won't be slowing down anytime soon. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the scary truth about Fernando Alonso nobody's talking about. It's a real eye-opener. Go ahead, give it a click.